tall trees surround the state capitol, providing a bit of shade. But like it or not, there's a lot more shade inside the building thanks to many of our elected officials. Our focus today is on the shady Senate. State senators recently blocked a new rule that would have shined a light on some of the votes they cast. As things stand now, votes are supposed to be recorded on a digital voting machine, displayed here for all to see, and then later posted on the internet. Full transparency sounds pretty good, right? But here's the shady part. If a bill is on the Senate floor and an amendment is offered, the votes aren't even recorded unless a group of senators insists. Those amendments simply get a hand vote. The lieutenant governor alone decides whether the yeas or the nays have it. And there is absolutely no way to confirm how your senator voted unless you were there in person to see it. That's governing in the dark. Now, it used to be that hand votes on floor amendments were no big deal. They were used to make minor changes, like fixing a typo in the language of a bill. But now, way too often, shady senators and representatives use such votes to completely change the intent of a bill. Or they slip in a pork barrel project. So a bill that had public hearings, then was approved by a committee, can suddenly be gutted. This happens without debate, without public input, and usually with no time for a senator to even read the amendment. There's no better example than the 2015 state transportation bill. The bill raising taxes on gasoline, electric cars, and other items went through public hearings, committee debate, and was passed by both the Senate and the House. All in plain sight for everyone to see. But then, without any notice, a floor committee included a $5 per hotel room tax to the bill which added $150 million in taxes. And because it was a floor vote with no record keeping, you have no idea how or if your elected official voted for it. Clearly it was orchestrated to keep taxpayer watchdogs and interested citizens in the dark. This sleight of hand trick is gaining acceptance and momentum at the state capitol. Now, State Senator Josh McCoon of Columbus is fighting to change this. I consider McCoon a champion of transparent government. He offered a new rule that would require each senator's vote on the floor amendments to be recorded, just like their regular votes. That, apparently, makes too much sense. Unfortunately, the rule met a quick death in committee, and it was voted down by voice vote. It didn't even get a hand vote. Whose side are these politicians on? Allow me to suggest that you make some calls to the shady lawmakers who have the power and influence to resurrect this common sense rule. Lieutenant Governor Shady Casey Cagle, Majority Leader Bill Shady Calzert, and finally, Rules Committee Chairman Shady Jeff Mullis. Here are their phone numbers and email addresses. Tell them to come out of the shadows Record the votes on floor amendments. That's my opinion, like it or not. So now it's time to please the lawyers with this disclaimer. The opinion in this piece is mine and mine alone and not the opinion of Fox 5 or its staff. But I would like to know your opinion. So tell us if you like it or not. And who knows, I may respond to you on Fox 5.